It says a man who fears suffering is always suffering from what he fears, right? If, if, you, if you don't do something about your life, that enemy on the road will always be there and will begin, it will be getting, getting more territory. What you fear it, until you face it, it will just becomes bigger and you always be a prisoner to eat until you face it. Don't avoid life. Don't run away from your fears. fears. Face your fears. Learn about it. The more you learn about it, the more light comes to bear. Do something about and wait what you learn. Right? Face life. Suffer. Suffer. Pay the price so that you can enjoy the life. Right? Embrace your suffering and let it reveal to you the way to peace. Life is not about, about avoidance. Life is about facing the thing that is facing you. We walk through the issues of life. We don't avoid the issues of life. We lean into life. We don't lean away from life. We lean into the things that are before us. Because until you face that giant, it will always be a giant. When you face it, it becomes it, it becomes a bread for eating, right? The giant you run away from, you will always run away from. The giant you face, you eat, and it becomes history, right? So don't run away from life. Embrace your life. Embrace the challenge of your life. Lean into life. Face the issue. Face the issue. Yes, you might not solve it in one day. You might not solve it in one week, but start. Start from where you are. Start from where you can, you know, and begin to chip up on it. A mountain might not be moved in one chunk, but you can move it one stone at a time. Move it one stone at a time. Chip off it, 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 chip off it. And before you know, you have moved the mountain because you are a mountain mover. Start from where you are, right? So where my glasses here? <laughs> Should have made this one smaller. Uh, it's better to step forward into growth rather than step backward into safety, right? And there's nothing like there's nothing called safety in this life. You know, the poor people are always looking for safety, right? Rich people look for opportunities. Poor people looking for safety. Rich people are looking for opportunities, right? Because there's, there's no real place that is safe. It's only safe temporarily. Safety is an illusion, right? There's still something that can get you where you are, right? Look for opportunities. Look for growth, right? Step out to progress. Look for opportunities. Look for growth. Step out. Step out. Step out. Step out, right? The way to be safe is the way to growth. Well, the bigger you become, the big, the, the, the smaller the things that can happen, the, 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 um, the less the things that can, oh, well, let me not put it that way, but you, the bigger you are, your situation might not change, but when you grow big, you can grow bigger than your situation, right? Looking for safety means that you remain at that level, fighting the same demon, but you can grow bigger. Even though your situation might not change, you might, you might, you might, you can trump your situation. You can leave your situation where it is. You don't have, you don't have, you don't have to leave the rest of your life fighting the same devil. You can grow bigger and, and become bigger and better and, and at a higher level than the demon you are fighting today, right? It's not, life is not about looking for safety. Life is about looking for opportunity, opportunities for growth. Keep on growing, keep on getting better, right? There's a great, there's a great world out there. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a great array of things you, you, you can lay your hands on. You, 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 you can grab, you can lay your hands on, you know, life is waiting for you. Life is waiting to be discovered by you, you know, keep on looking for opportunity to keep on looking for growth. Life is not about being perfect. Life is about progressing. Life is about pushing, pushing forward, right? Life is about, you know, being better, you know, it's not about looking for, for perfection, looking for safety. It's about looking for opportunities and unnecessing those opportunities, opportunities for growth, opportunities for increase, opportunities for betterment, right? Uh, if it is better to, all right, if there is no struggle, there is no progress, right? If there's no struggle, there's no progress. The worst place you can be is in your comfort zone, right? It looks nice and cozy, 
but there's no growth there because you're familiar with this place. You're comfortable at this level. Life is moving on. Life is ever evolving. You need to seek for new challenges. You need to seek for new grounds to conquer, right? If, they, if, you, don't, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you if you leave all your life in your comfort zone, you will not grow. And life will have passed you by. Suddenly you find that your cheese has been moved. Things around you have, have moved, you know? So the way to, to, to not go backwards, you know, because when you're in your comfort zone, you're actually going backward because every other thing is moving forward, right? You need to move forward so you don't go backwards, right? You have to, you have to learn new things, right? You have, you have to learn new things, become more relevant, you know, be, not be conquered by your environment, you know, con continue to look at how you can, you know, trump your environment. You, 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 you can uh, become um, relevant, in this in the season in the age in the in the in the in the generation in the reality of the world in which you are living in you know don't don't let the world you are living in defeat you always seek to trump it seek to be someone that is ahead of it seek to be someone that is able to stand your ground you know take your own place at the table you know you know you but that requires pressing 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 because it requires you learning it requires you to grow it requires you to do exercise, you know, as mental exercise, spiritual exercise, physical exercise. It said about Warren Buffett, how many, how many hours a, a day he reads. He reads because he needs to build his capacity to handle the, the issues of his business, the issues of life. You know, your, your, what you can grab, what you can handle, what will be given to you, you know, is a function of what you can handle. Don't take a, a teaspoon to the ocean. You at least take a bucket along. Your bucket is your capacity. You know, Solomon had to pray to God when he became king. He said, God, give me the capacity to rule your people. Give me the enablement to rule your people. You know, and one of the ways we will build that capacity is by reading, is by developing ourselves, is by expanding our mind, is by expanding our knowledge, you know, is by expanding our skills, is by expanding our ability you know that that's the the, the more the, the more cup you bring you know the more you can that can be put into it if all you take to the ocean is a teaspoon that's what you'll get but if you get a bucket you know and that bucket is determined by your building your capacity your building your your knowledge base your building your abilities you know that's what's going to be filled right so it's not favorite life has no favorite favorite favoritism life is neutral it's the cup you present to life that life will fill with you know so so push struggle, you know, uh, push, push forward, you know, to develop yourself, to increase yourself so that you are bringing to life the right, the, the, the a, a bucket, not a teaspoon, a good container that life can feel and you will enjoy life by that which life gives to you, you know. The next thing we'll see here is, is by uh, Jen St. Hong, who is the CEO of NVIDIA, you know, it says character is not formed out of out of smart people it is formed out of people who have suffered you know just like we spoke about the butterfly you know when you when you when you go through life you build character when you avoid life you don't build character you remain ever small to become big you need to lean into life and go through life face the issues of life face the issues of life make the necessary changes in your being Right, Thomas Edison talked about doing a thousand experiment. It wasn't just wasting his time. Each experiment built on the last one. It was each experiment was do was becoming better at it. The, all those experiments were relatable. It wasn't just doing things at random. He did this one. It didn't work. He tweaked it a little bit. Tweak, 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 tweak. Each one becoming better. You know. So each time we face life, we learn something. And we'll practice it. What we'll practice and put to effort in our life makes us better, right? As we face life, we become better, 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 better. And when we have become the person that God needs to, to give an assignment, to take to the next level, or life qualifies you to, yeah, then you get the reward. You have that, that, that puncture into life that we'll call, you know, pure, 
pure majesty, you know, the day of visiting, the, 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 the day of reward, right? But it doesn't come until you are ready, you know? So that's what we say that, you know, uh, our, uh, our lock is when uh, opportunity means preparation. That preparation is what you do when you face life. You face life, you face life, you lean into life. You walk out the issues of life before you. You know, one of it for me, it's... um. I'm a very passionate person, you know, which is both good and bad, right? Uh, passionate person, it means that I could, I, 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 loss in passion, you might not be able to wage what we call psychological warfare. That is fighting a battle without fighting because your passion really wants to be visible all the time. But 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 part of emotional intelligence is that you you, you don't always show all your ammunition. You don't always expose all your emotions. You need to keep some emotions in check. You need to be able to control yourself, right? You don't let your emotions have the better of you. It's okay to be passionate, but it is detrimental to your progress, detrimental to your success. If your emotions, your supposed passion is, is having control over you, if, if you don't know when to hold it back, when to hold a straight face, when not to show emotions and when to show emotions, then you, you, you have a problem. You're not matured. Emotional maturity is knowing when to show which emotion when to hold back your emotion and when to show your emotion. You know, that's what you call emotional maturity, emotional uh, maturity, you know, and scripture has it to say, it says a person that cannot control ease or emotion is one who is like a, a, a city without walls. That means that you expose yourself. People know how to get you down. People know how to get how to get a specific reaction from you. But when you can control your emotion, when people do things that they expect you to be angry and you're not angry, then your walls are intact. That means that they cannot they cannot put you in trouble at will. You know, when they want to provoke you to cause a particular reaction because they want to tell people you are this or that, you disappoint them by holding yourself together. You know, so. Uh, so that's what you do when you build character. You learn to control yourself. You learn to control yourself spiritually. You learn to control yourself psychologically. You learn to control yourself emotionally. You learn to control yourself physically, right? So you learn to, you know, whatever it is that is gra in your body, you learn when to stop. You learn when to preach long. You learn when to preach short. You learn when to obey and 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 and, and go straight to the point. You know, I I used to I grew up a perfectionist, and one time my boss gave me a job and he wanted it immediately, you know, yet I was trying to use three days to do it because I wanted it to be so perfect. You know, one of the counsels he gave to me is. You know, always play to the time the person has given you. If someone says, I want something in five minutes, it means he doesn't want, he wants a, the value of work that is just for five minutes. It's not asking for a perfect three-day job. I want something in five minutes. Give me the quick and easy. You know, I if it's five minutes, I, the person that is asking for it already knows that it will not be a three-day worth of work. So give the person the type of job he's looking for for the time he has given you. If it's a one-day job, give him that one day job but don't because don't uh oh, don't 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 try to give someone a three-day job who has asked for a five-day job is because you cannot control yourself it's one of the things you need to learn as you go through life it's part of suffering it's part of building character it's part of building the person that can sit on the throne that's why joseph could not just go to the throne go out to take joseph through the school of life to learn character to suffer to learn character even jesus the bible said he learned obedience by the things which he suffered you know suffering is not it's not anemic to life suffering is a part of life is a is, is part of the journey part of the way part of the part of the steps to the throne you are not going to get to the throne until you have faced life until life has touched you until you have touched life even the israelites god had to take them through the wilderness god did not take them straight to the promised land because he knew they were not ready he had to take them to the promised land to prepare them you know to to give them character to give to give them the person that they will be worthy that will be able to carry 
carry, you know, the gifting that God wanted to give them in the promised land. You know, so God took them through the wilderness. He said he did that for two things. One, to see what was in their heart, you know, to, to another way of saying what is in their heart is to build them up, to build them up, to build their character, to make them, to make them the person that, that can carry, the person that can handle the promise, the gifting, the blessing that God wanted to give to them. The next thing was to let them know that one shall not, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. He is saying that another way of looking at that is that you to know that you need to build capacity. You need to do something to build yourself up. You know, you need to build capacity on a daily basis. You know, you need to build capacity, read, get knowledge, get understanding, get wisdom. It will make a difference in your life. It will keep you. It will keep you. It will keep you. Yes, I have character, but you also need knowledge. You need understanding. You need wisdom to carry you through life, right? So build character. That's that's you that that and we build that by suffering. We'll, we'll build that by leaning into life. We'll build that by facing life, not running away from life. You know, we'll, we'll build that by by facing life, not avoiding life. Right. 